Hey guys, if you subscribe to my channel, you know what I love best, and that is operating portable HF ham radio on the beach, especially in the morning. Well, this week I am camping. I'm at a campground right here uh, in Virginia Beach. Uh, this is the Chesapeake Bay right here. I mean, I'm over the dune as my camper, and I like to get up early and play a little radio. I think it's going to rain later this week. This will be the morning for it, and uh, I've got a something simple. You know, with the season coming and people coming down here quick, you know, I love building wire antennas. They are the best for operating in this condition. But as it's uh, coming into uh, tourist season, a quick, easy to, to deploy antenna is really what I wanted to do this morning. I have the MA-12. It's uh, very similar to the MC-750, which I also have. It's basically the same antenna. I bought this antenna just for the beach here. And uh, it's, it's pretty cool, easy to carry down here. I also brought with me uh, everything else and just carry it along here in my little blue bucket and uh, that is one thing about operating and climbing over a dune and walking down the beach in the sand is you want your kit to be as light as possible plus I'd flip the blue bucket over and use it for uh, you know th to put my radio on as well as I could put everything back on it and set it down and it kind of protects if it, the tides coming in or water so anyway it's morning I've got a great setup and I want to play a little radio stick around Okay, here's the setup. Wow, what a wonderful morning. Not a lot of people on the beach. A couple people walking by, but not much here. That's why I like to get out here early. This is the Chesapeake Bay, or really the mouth of the Chesapeake Bay, heading out to the Atlantic Ocean right there. So that's the Atlantic, Chesapeake Bay. If you can see way out there, that's the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel. Here we go. I bring everything down, like I said, in my blue bucket. And uh, the Zygu G90 is what I'm gonna be using today. And uh, because I like to, when I come down the beach, carrying is an issue. I use my little small six amp hour LiPo 4 battery. I did bring a 30, 30 foot coax this time. Kind of too long maybe. Here it is, here's the M12. Really cool antenna. This one, first time I used it. Hey, the ground system popped in perfect. Everything about it was nice. There it is. There's the whip. One thing I like about these type of antennas, I really do, is that they're marked, as you can see. Like, I'm gonna, 20, 20 meters in the morning for me, it's set up 14 megahertz, 20 meters. I do have uh, four counterpoise. The, the entire system that's made for it, set up here, uh, ready to go. And there it is, the uh, telescopic whip that is set up for this thing for the 20 meter band. Now this thing does come with a coil that you could add to it to uh, also add the 40 meter band as well. Of course, this morning I'm just gonna be operating on 20. I love 20 meter bands on the beach in the morning, uh, hunting down some DX there. So there it is, the MA-12 antenna. And uh, I'm pretty excited to use this thing. I, like I said, I use the MC-750, which is the uh, same antenna. And, uh, and, and really liked it. And now that I've got this one as well. This one was bought just for this purpose to be my beach antenna. And uh, here we go. So let's uh, let's get on the air. Uh, QSL, Paul. Oh, that's just wonderful. I'm portable sitting on the beach with my uh, a telescopic whip, just 20 watts, and I have a couple counterpoise that are just kissing the Atlantic Ocean. What a wonderful uh, signal you have here as well. You're about a 5.7 with excellent audio. Wow, wait. I'm delightful. 20 watts sitting on the beach with a telescopic whip. Yeah, that's the way you do Hey, thank you so much, Paul. I appreciate this contact. Oh, the thrill is mine. I love getting up here early here in the East uh, USA and making those contacts over to you guys there in, uh, in Australia. Thank you so much. 73, my friend. 
Kilo four, Oscar Golf, Oscar. Yes, Kilo four, Oscar Golf, Oscar. Hey, thank you so much for the contact, my friend. 73. Kilo four, Oscar Golf, Oscar. Yes, Kilo 4, Oscar Golf, Oscar. Kilo 4, Golf, Oscar, that's correct. Uh, Oscar Golf, Oscar. Oscar Golf, Oscar, Oscar Golf, Oscar. Uh, Kilo 4, Oscar Golf, Golf, Oscar. Hello, nice to meet you. Five and five, two and five, five 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 and five. QSL, you're five and five as well. I'm 20 watts portable on the beach on the Atlantic Ocean in Virginia, USA. The name is Walt. Whiskey Alpha, Lima Tango. Thank you so much. Good to get you in the log. 73, my friend. Park to park. I got a park to park and Kilo Charlie 3. Hold on. I'm going to take the park to park first. Yeah, this is Kilo 4, Oscar Golf Oscar. I am at US 1299. I got Kilo 4, Oscar Golf Oscar. It's on US 1299. I've got you about a 5 5. I'm coming into my park here 4632. Good enough. QSL, QSL, you're about a 5-7 here, 5-7 here. I am on the beach here, Virginia Beach, Virginia. Well, roger that. Well, you have a great day up there in Virginia. And, and, uh, oh, wait a minute, this is Walt, the old uh, beach beach That would be me. Well, I don't want to call your stuff there. Anyway, I appreciate it. First time I've got you on here. And, uh, nice to get you up. The show is my friend. You have a great day. Hey, thank you, 73. Let me make sure I get your call sign right, too, if you don't mind. Got it. Hey, thanks. Have a great activation. 73, my friend. 73, my friend. Wow, what a fun and interesting morning propagation-wise. It started off uh, about an hour ago in the Pacific. I was, like, hearing a lot over there. Heard a lot of VK. Heard a lot of Japan on 20. Kind of hard to get through um, here, but I did get through, and uh, that was nice as well. This is what I like to do. I just like to sit on the beach and hunt. And break through that what an accomplishment when uh, you can do it with some low power uh, a lot of fun it was funny as i i could just see the 20 meters i could see the pacific kind of fading away and then disappear up around the other way uh towards uh scandinavia it was kind of strange couldn't hear any other part of europe but scandinavia started hearing the, them as well and then i went over to 17 and i did not even trim the antenna i just hit the tuner on the uh, on the radio and made a contact on 17 that was fun and now 20 meters as the day is starting to uh, wake up is becoming a uh, u.s poda uh, band as it always does that's kind of cool and i am at a park here so uh, i figured i'd make a good poda contact here before i packed it up but i love working dx on the beach if you're if you live in the states anywhere in the states man get up early in the morning and do it it really is such such fun it really is and for me i mean yeah i've got a beach and i and, and i do this you know because i live in this area and it's a lot of fun to do that as well but you don't have to be by the beach anywhere just get up and do it i mean maybe you use a little more power than 20 watts if you're uh, in the middle of the country somewhere but it's a lot of fun and getting up in the morning and working dx is fun and for me especially on the beach if you, if I, I get this one all the time well i don't live near a beach Hey, you know what? Plan your next vacation at the beach and bring your radio because this really is a, I don't know if you want to call it a phenomenon or whatever. It's just an amazing uh, part of propagation and, and physics or whatever to be by salt water and to experience that uh, incredible uh, boost to a signal when you're, when you're next to it. It's, uh, it's what I'm all about. It's what this channel is all about. That's why I call it Coastal Waves and Wires. This is what I love to do in ham radio is HF hunting dx on the beach it's just a blast anyway if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe 
I, um, I like to do this. You'll see a whole lot more of this now as uh, here in the uh, United States and the Northern Hemisphere, we're coming into summer. Gets a little hard though. If you can see right now, this is a weekday and there's no one out here, but uh, pretty soon it's going to be wall to wall people. So it'll be a little harder to do. I'll probably shift to going out on the evenings and doing it then and having some fun in the evenings. But for now, I'm going to put everything back in my bucket and uh, head back to the campsite and uh, have a cup of coffee with my wife and uh, maybe put up an antenna there. I think I'm going to put an infant halfway up there at the campsite and start playing around maybe tonight and have some fun there as well. Anyway, until next time, I'm Walt, K4OGO. Stay salty, my friends.